children, this is Teacher Kwan Yin. Welcome to another journey into the world of online learning. Today, we will discuss about a process wherein you and I can easily tell if a number can be divided by 3, 6, and 9, and it will give an exact answer without even performing the division operation. Children, are you excited to know how to do it? Alright, let's proceed to our online discussion. Divisibility rules by 3, 6, and 9. Before we proceed to our online learning discussion, children, it is better to understand the different terminologies or words that you might encounter along the way. Unlocking of terms. The first term that we will unlock is the word divisibility rule. Is a process of determining whether a given number can be divided by another number without performing the operation of division. It is done by merely examining its digits. Divisible A number is divisible by another number if it can be divided by another number and the remainder is zero. Example, 72 divided by 8 is equal to 9. 72 divided by 9 is equal to 8. 14 divided by 2 is equal to 7. 14 divided by 7 is equal to 2. Meaning, 72 is divisible by 8 and 9, as well as 14 is divisible by 2 and 7 because their answer is an exact number. Multiple It is the product obtained by multiplying a number by a whole number. Example, 3 times 1 equals 3, 3 times 2 equals 6, 3 times 3 equals 9, 3 times 4 equals 12, 3 times 5 equals 15. The numbers 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15 are the multiples of 3. Sum is the answer when two or more numbers are being added. Examples 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. 3 plus 7 plus 5 is equal to 15. 8 plus 8 is equal to 16. Even numbers are numbers that can be divided by 2 and whose one's digit is 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. Here are some examples of uneven numbers. 1,008, 9,926, 1,020, 724, and 182. Lastly, we will talk about the word digits. Digits are numbers from 0 to 9. Take note, there are only 10 digits, namely 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. We will begin our online learning discussion by reading the story problem. Join me, children, in reading it aloud. Story Problem As an expression of gratitude for the frontliners in providing public service amidst COVID-19 pandemic, Joseph decided to bake 360 chocolate cookies to be distributed to the garbage collectors as their afternoon stocks. Can he share the cookies equally to three, six, and nine garbage collectors? How will you know if they will get an equal number of cookies? Let us answer the following questions based on our story problem. The first question is, how many cookies did Joseph decided to bake? 
And the answer, very good, 360 cookies. Second question, what is asked in the story problem? There are two questions that we need to answer from the story. The first one is, can he share the cookies equally to three, six, and nine garbage collectors? And the second question is, how will you know if they will get an equal number of cookies? Number three question, what kind of person is Joseph? Your answer here may vary. One possible answer is that Joseph is a kind person. Next question, should you imitate him and why? Okay, here there is no right and wrong answer. For me, yes, I want to repay all the sacrifices of the frontliners. Divisibility rule by 3 states that a number is divisible by 3 if the sum of all the digits is a multiple of 3. So, let's get the given number in the story problem which is 360. The digits are 3, 6, and 0. Add up the digits. So that would be 3 plus 6 plus 0 is equal to 9. Is 9 a multiple of 3? Yes. Therefore, 360 is divisible by 3. The question, can he share the cookies equally to 3 garbage collectors? So let us prove. 360 divided by 3 is equal to 120. Therefore, Joseph can share his cookies to 3 garbage collectors equally. And each of them will receive 120 chocolate cookies. Divisibility rule by 6 states that a number is divisible by 6 if the given number is an even number and the sum of all the digits is a multiple of 3. Here, we are going to meet two conditions. The first condition is that the given number should be an even number. So let us make use of the given number in the story problem, which is 360. The question is, is 360 an even number? The answer is 360 is an even number. Let us continue the divisibility rule by 6. Second condition, the sum of all the digits in the given number is a multiple of 3. The given number is 360. At the sum of all the digits, is the sum of 3 plus 6 plus 0 is a multiple of 3? Yes. So we can conclude that 360 is divisible by 6. Question. Can he share the cookies equally to 6 garbage collectors? Let us prove. 360 divided by 6 is equal to 60. Therefore, Joseph can share his cookies to 6 garbage collectors. And each of them will receive 60 chocolate cookies. Divisibility rule by 9 states that a number is divisible by 9 if the sum of all the digits is a multiple of 9. So the given number in the story is 360. The digits are 3, 6, and 0. Add up the digits. So that would be 3 plus 6 plus 0. That would give you 9. The question is, is 9 a multiple of 9? The answer is yes. Therefore, 360 is divisible by 9. 
like and he shared the cookies equally to nine garbage collectors? Let's prove again. 360 divided by 9 is equal to 40. Therefore, Joseph can share his cookies to 9 garbage collectors. And each of them will receive 40 chocolate cookies. The second question in our story problem is, How will you know if they will get an equal number of cookies? The answer, we can tell if they will get the same number of chocolate cookies by applying the divisibility rules by 3, 6, and 9, which we have learned earlier. Children, let us summarize what we have learned a while ago regarding the divisibility rules by 3, 6, and 9. It states that, a number is divisible by 3 if the sum of all the digits is a multiple of 3. Also, we have learned, a number is divisible by 6 if it meets two conditions, if it is an even number, and at the same time, the sum of all the digits is a multiple of 3, and divisibility of 9, if the sum of all the digits is a multiple of 9. Children, let us apply what we have learned a while ago by doing the following practice exercise. Instruction Answer yes if the statement is correct. Otherwise, answer no if it is not. Number 1 is 72 divisible by 3? Yes or no? What's the answer, children? Very good. The answer is yes. Number 2. Is 92 divisible by 6? Yes or no? What's your answer? Very good. The answer is no. Number 3. Is 53 divisible by 3? Yes or no? Again, what's the answer, children? Fantastic! The answer is no. Number 4. Is 84 divisible by 6, children? Answer it yes or no. What's your answer? Fantastic! The answer is yes. Number 5. Is 117 divisible by 9? Yes or no? What's your answer? Very good! You got it right! The answer is yes. Congratulations, children, for another learning you have earned today. Keep it up and see you on our next online learning journey.